Minister, one of the most obscene aspects of the absolutely dire housing and homelessness situation that we face in this country is the phenomena of people being homeless, being crammed into overcrowded conditions, being hopeless about the possibility of ever owning their own home or getting a social house, and then seeing vacant property. Anywhere you walk, vacant property, derelict sites, uh, speculators sitting on land or property to make money out of it. So the question I, I, I am asking you is, are you going to take any further measures Thank in the you, forthcoming Deputy. budget Deputy. to deal Thank with you, the Minister. scandal of vacant, derelict property Minister. and speculation? Thank you, uh, thank you, Deputy Boyle Barrett. The government is acutely aware of the difficulties in the housing market and the challenges this continues to present for many people and many families as they seek a new and often uh, first home. In terms of vacant properties, the need to address vacancy and to ensure all viable housing stock is being used uh, is a priority for the government. In Housing for All, the government has set out a suite of incentives to address vacancy and efficient use of housing stock. A vacant homes tax was announced in Budget 2023 and legislated for in Finance Act 2022 and is now set at five times the property's existing base local property tax rate. The Vacant Homes Action Plan outlines the significant progress that has been made in addressing vacancy, along with the actions that are being pursued to return as many vacant properties back into use as possible. A range of schemes and supports have been implemented by the Government to address vacancy and bring properties back into use, including the Vacant Property Refurbishment, refurbishment Grant, the Repair and Leasing Scheme, the Buy and Renew Scheme, the Urban and Regeneration Development Fund and uh, the Compulsory Purchase Orders Activation Programme. All local authorities now have a dedicated vacant homes officer funded by the Department of Housing, ensuring a dedicated focus on tackling vacancy. With regards to dereliction, I understand the Department of Housing, Local Government and Heritage continues to liaise with local authorities on the implementation of the Derelict Sites Act 1990 with a view to improving its effectiveness. In respect of land hoarding and property speculation, there are already a number of tax measures in place which are designed to discourage such activities, including the Vacant Homes Tax, which I have already outlined, the Residential Zoned Land Tax, the 10% Stamp Duty in the Bulk Acquisition of Houses and the Residential Development Stamp Duty Refund Scheme. Any proposals for potential tax measures in the forthcoming budget uh, must be assessed carefully and need to be targeted and clear in their policy intent. And my department continues to monitor all aspects of the property market and I will continue to work with my colleagues in government to ensure that any further interventions in the housing market are properly calibrated, represent the best use of scarce public resources and boost the supply of much needed housing uh, in the state. Minister, the vacant homes tax is a failure. Uh, we learned at the beginning of this year uh, that only €2 million Euro was raised on it uh, and it applied to less than 3,500 uh, properties. That's against a background where the census showed 160,000 vacant residential dwellings. 48,000 of those were vacant both in the 2016 census and in the 22 uh, census. Uh, then we have about 20,000 derelict properties, and you just have to walk around this city. Does it not outrage you? Because it certainly outrages me when I walk past empty, vacant, and derelict property or sites that could be used for housing, and you ask, How can this be? How can this be when there are 13,500 people homeless? Uh, when there are tens of thousands of people crammed into overcrowded uh, conditions, how can it possibly be that we have apartment blocks? In front of my office in Dunleary, there's an apartment block that has been sitting with perfectly refurbished units empty for four years. Uh, thank you, Deputy. As you know, I increased the vacant tax rate in the last budget. And just to give you the numbers, the revenue has confirmed that as of the 2nd of April this year, over 6,000 properties have been declared as vacant, with exemptions being declared in respect of approximately 2,500 uh, of these properties. Approximately 3,500 properties have a liability to vacant homes tax, amounting to uh, approximately €2 million. Euro. Yes, there are exemptions. I'm not sure which of those exemptions you would remove. Uh, for example, where the owner has died, 
where a grant of representation was issued, where the proper property is actively marketed for sale or for rent, where it's the subject of a court order, where it's underwent structural works, or where it's unoccupied due to the illness of an owner. So the census provides us with some data. It's not the only source of data in respect of this issue. Uh, the Revenue Commissioners also have access, of course, to uh, the local property tax returns, uh, which is a rich source of information for them uh, when it comes to uh, the property portfolio around the country. Yeah, well, you've just confirmed how, how much of a failure the vacant tax uh, is against tens and tens of thousands of vacant uh, properties. Uh, so, of course I'm being, for fair, being fair to people where there's a good reason, but there should be a, an imperative to say, by hook or by crook, this house is going to be brought back into use. It's obscene for that not to be the case. So yes, if somebody has a reason for leaving it empty, get it, buy it off them. Pay them a fair price. If somebody's sitting on it for speculative reasons, tax them to the hilt and then take it off them uh, for uh, speculating on property. The same should be done with residential zoned land or planning permissions or any of these things where there's speculative profiteering going on on the back of vacant and derelict property. But what you have to have is a can-do attitude, Minister. We are not going to allow the scandal of vacant property, derelict property or people speculating on zoned land when we are in the teeth of an absolutely obscene housing crisis. If you have a can-do attitude, you, you can be fair to people, but you can get the result, which is to bring those vacant and derelict properties uh, and sites that could be used for housing back into use. Thanks, Deputy. The, the vacant homes tax, as you know, uh, is targeting habitable properties. properties. Uh, you're raising a number of other issues which are important and are relevant uh, when it comes to properties that are vacant but which in many instances are also derelict. My colleague, Minister O'Brien, uh, last month published the Vacant Homes Action Plan, the Progress Report, uh, April 2024. And to be fair, it set out progress that is being made uh, in achieving the objectives. If you take the vacant property refurbishment grant, seven, over 7,500 applications received, and almost 60% of them have been approved uh, to date. Uh, you take the URDF, 150 million has been made available to local authorities under call three of the URDF to tackle vacancy and dereliction by acquiring properties for reuse or sale across towns and cities. And over 900 properties have been approved funding under this call and 11 new towns have been added to the URDF programme and can avail of funding uh, under call three.